So good afternoon, this is your so it seamstress and this is my finished project that I've been showing you how to do the thick chenille cushions and then the cover. Now the cover was a little cumbersome because it's a long love seat that I was making the cover for. Fortunately, my love seat is very similar shaped except for length, so I could not fit the whole thing on here to show you, but I can show you a half view of what it entails. I'm going to put this down just a little bit so you can see <laughs> how this thing wants to slide all the way down. There we go. Okay, so here are the 24-inch pillows. I made them with the chenille in the front. And then, of course, another chenille uh, gold on the back. There are three of these. 24-inch makes 72 inches across. The person that I made this for, they have a... 64 inch space I believe in the back so these will overlap a little bit and will be very comfortable um, the tricky thing to doing a sofa cover is you want to pin the fabric on it right side down and pin the shape of the sofa which is how I did this and the sofa that this is going on to is a sleeper sofa so in order to keep the cover on it and still be able to pull the sofa bed out, I had to make a big hole in the center. And to do that, I have the back piece. And keep in mind, I did pin this to the sofa ahead of time. So I pinned the back piece, side piece, the side piece here, and the side piece kind of wrapped around. So that way, all I had to do was add in this front panel here and I added two inches to it to be able for it to, because on the sofa bed cover, there's a gap here. So this is going to tuck up over top of it. And while it's being used just as a sofa, of course, this is going to sit on top. Now the tricky part is when you come to here, to this part, and when you're, that's why you pin it wrong side out, because you want to be able to come up and around all these curvatures in here. Um, as you can see, here's where the arm connects, and here's the front panel, and then it tucks in. So I needed to make it so that I had something to tuck in for that part of it, and still not have it touch the floor, because she doesn't want it getting dirty, so we'll have it above the floor. And so then once you've done that, there is a seam on, just like on her sofa, where it goes like from the corner of the arm and goes down through the back. And so I mimicked that, made the big cushion covers. Now hers is a little bit deeper than mine, so these stick out a little bit. But these would be flush with the front on hers. So as you can see, this is going to be very lovely in her home. And the whole inside is cut out. Well, <clears throat> I'll show you that one more time. Because let's, we're going to imagine that's the sofa bed inside. This portion here. That would come up and out. And then the cover can stay on it. Most of uh, uh, sofa beds, you have to take the whole cover off. And she didn't want that. So I made a way so that she can keep her cover on even when her guests are using it as a bed. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments for me. And I have more videos coming up for you. I'm going to start getting into maybe some children's clothing, which I think will be a lot of fun. So God bless and keep sewing.